Professor Jessica Byron. I was um, so intrigued by um, your uh, your comment on uh, um, Miss Kane from Belize. On <laughs> you said you mentioned like. Uh, Kids from the neighboring country. She mentioned that kids from neighboring countries studying Belize, whether um, education would be able to be used as a, a, a trade. What do you think of that for English-speaking countries? I, why, I, why I asked that? Yes. Yes. And um, well, I asked it because um, now I understand Belize. Belize has a rather unique historical relationship with its neighbors and uh, on the one hand what I wanted to know was um, whether this arrangement is primarily geared at social integration into into their Central American neighborhood or whether it is also seen as the basis for building um, competitiveness in trade and educational services. I don't know, that is, but that is what I wanted to explore with her. If it can be also considered as a step in the journey towards building um, education services um, within the region where Belize can offer um, English language education. Oh, you mean Spanish? To, yes, to its Spanish-speaking neighbors. That was that was why I asked that question. Okay. Um, in the Caribbean, many of us um, have gravitated increasingly towards selling trade and services. Now, in Suriname, is very much a commodities producer, but in many CARICOM countries. Um, our strengths lie more in services, financial services, tourism services, educational services. So I was asking the question in that context. Okay. Do you think that uh, such services can be uh, like... So there, there, those services are already running in other countries? Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah was not quite aware. Um, perhaps you could react of what Mr. Richard Bernard was uh, speaking. Mr. Uh, Richard Bernard, Bernard. a professor. Bernard. He said um, we should lose the mindset of thinking that we are small and <laughs> we are no longer considered small. <laughs> now, judging by the global competition, um, and um, and the fact that most produce from the Caribbean is rather um, mm. like small. How do you think that uh, we can implement this mindset? Do you think it can be done at all? Um, yeah, well, to be fair to Professor Bernal, well, first of all, he always has very interesting ideas and um, he always makes us think. Now, I think he was encouraging us that while we are mindful that we are small economies, I mean, they, there's a, inter, we are small size, land-based economies, we have, and we do have small populations. But he was also um, reminding us that most Caribbean countries have at least another half of their populations, if not more, who live outside of their borders. We have huge diasporas, Suriname also. And um, so when we are thinking of the size of our markets and the size of our populations, then the size of the resources that are at our disposal, we have to factor in that transnational, those transnational resources which we have. And I fully agree with him there. And it is a fact that many of us have not yet fully, um, fully made, taken advantage of our diasporas mm -hmm. as, um, 
as a development resource. Okay. Um, so that's one thing. I think he was also, Professor Bernal was also encouraging us not always to be on the defensive yes. and see small size as a disadvantage, but rather look at the um, resources which we do have, which we may not have um, fully explored. The, what he said about large ocean economies, that is actually a strategy that Pacific Island small countries have already adopted. There, there is a declaration that the Pacific small states made um, a couple of years ago saying that we no longer want to be considered as small island developing states. We want rather to think of ourselves and to project ourselves as big ocean um, econ states because much of our wealth, much of their wealth, they were saying, is, lies in the Pacific Ocean and in their maritime industries, whether it's sailing, whether it is fishing. And so they want to see themselves as countries with tremendous maritime resources. Mm -hmm. So he was, he was encouraging us to think have bigger, a, have a similar mindset <laughs> and think big.